Before we get started, definitely check out the private Discord server. Link in the description below. 80% win rate on options, stocks, crypto, much, much more. It's awesome. Check it out. Spend a lot of time on it. Okay, let's get back to AMC because this stock is getting crazy. Every single day, a bunch of hedge funds borrow millions of shares of AMC. In fact, there's such a big share shortage to borrow that they resorted to shorting ETFs. And not to mention the short interest is super high, going from 79 million shares being shorted to 85 million shares being shorted, and now 92 million shares being shorted. If you ask me, with a massive increase in shares being shorted, and then the stock has stabilized, that is the worst news for big hedge funds that are shorting AMC. In my opinion, the best thing to hope for for AMC is an even higher short interest. I want to see maybe 150, maybe even 200 million shares being shorted, and then the stock just simply stabilizes and not move at all. Maybe staying at $40 isn't even that bad. Because you know what happens after that. It's because a good stabilization with a high short interest will eventually lead the stock to have a massive short squeeze. Because you can't really escape from shorting the free floats. Eventually, you're going to have to buy back these shares and cover the stock. And it's just a few moments away from a massive squeeze all the way up to $50. And that's not me saying it. This is from a fellow analyst out there. And right now, there's a lot of talks about how AMC Holdings could actually be going to $50. Because right now, AMC is holding the gains. It's not actually going up to, let's say, $45, $46 and then crashing back down to $30. It's actually going up to maybe $43, $48 and then crashing down to $40 and $41 and stabilizing there. This is really good because one, this type of pattern really reminds us of the pattern back around early May. You do have a stabilization, a massive surge up, a pretty decent plummet, which is also followed by a massive drop in volume, and then a sudden increase. Because even though the price did go up, the short interest went up as well. I remember back then in May, the short interest went from like a pretty low percentage to pretty much like almost 20% around this area. And then it absolutely exploded, okay? AMC stock blasted off to the moon. And same exact thing is happening right now. A massive spike up in the price, a massive spike up in the short interest, a massive decline in the volume, and a slight decline in price. So we should be seeing the next few trading days, probably next week, a massive spike up in the price and volume immediately. And this is why a lot of analysts right now, and a lot of you know news articles are saying, AMC is holding the gain, so it's ready for 50 bucks. If you also look at the technical analysis, it's pretty normal. Okay, usually after a really big surge, you have a pretty massive plummet, but as long as you stabilize around this area, you should be having a pretty good second run up. This is very similar to the Dogecoin graph. I know it's kind of really odd to compare AMC stock to Dogecoin, but the two actually have some pretty good similarities when it comes to technical analysis. Now, there's also a few reasons behind this. First of all, Adam Aaron is probably one of the best CEOs for the job. So far, he's hosting a ton of different events. You know, he also is opening new movie theaters, leasing new movie theaters, new movies coming out, which are going to be really popular. And by the way, AMC is no longer just a movie theater. They're doing WWE, okay? they're doing UFC, they're doing different sports, they're even doing movie concerts. I could tell you AMC is pretty much a really talented player in the movie theater industry. Being like the only you know, public movie theater, they have raised billions of dollars. In fact, right now they have $2 billion in cold hard cash in the bank, liquidity, credit lines, etc. But he's also really changing up you know, AMC and spicing it up. Instead of just showcasing movies and doing the same old thing, he's expanding, getting more movie theaters, and essentially making AMC like almost like a, like a cult or like an icon thing. And on top of that, you have AMC getting a lot of money they're also hosting really different events like movie concerts. Have you ever seen that kind of stuff? That is pretty rare in my opinion. And then lastly, we could be even be seeing AMC, this is just a rumor on social media, offering up a streaming service like Netflix. They have the money now. I feel like a lot of brick and mortar stores and companies, they cannot make the transition to a digital universe simply because they don't have enough money for that. I feel like you know, GameStop has recently transitioned a little bit of the business to online, and that's because they raised a lot of money. They paid off the debts, and that is why they could do that. But AMC is a different story. They still owe a little bit of debt, but not that bad. But I feel like with $2 billion bucks in the cash, I feel like maybe acquiring a streaming service or maybe just some sort of streaming company would be pretty beneficial. That's just me, and I feel like a lot of people might agree on this. I feel like partly the reason why I bought so many AMC shares is simply because I'm betting on that as well. But right now, you do have a lot of really, really big hedge funds 
getting even more AMC shares. AMC is super popular. Look at the amount of green there is and look at the amount of NAs. So essentially you have a lot of hedge funds just simply not buying and selling. They're still bullish. Hedge funds are buying more. And then you have a few hedge funds in the past couple weeks have sold AMC. But the majority of the hedge funds, like 80 to 90% are bullish on the stock. And not only are they buying shares, but they're also buying a ton of call options, which is a little bit like gambling, but their options they buy use like a year out or two years out. So it's fairly safe. You clearly see most investors, even the big institutions are playing AMC long-term. This is why AMC is holding the gains. In fact, AMC, even though it is some of a volatile stock, recently it has been pretty stable. Instead of jumping all over the place, AMC is actually showing off floor values. Like for example, around this time, they're like, okay, yeah, we're actually worth $33. Now, if it stabilizes, it can actually announce that, yeah, we're actually worth about 40 bucks. And because of this, we could be seeing a massive spike up in price once again. Remember this, I feel like the short interest of free float, if that kind of stuff gets covered like 8%, that's million the shares are being bought back we could be seeing a massive domino effect. But also keep in mind that the amount of dark pool trade percentages is very high. 65% of the total volume is dark pools. That's a little bit unacceptable in my opinion and a little bit way too high. And over the past 20 days, average dark pool volume is also two thirds. So just keep that in mind. There just seems to be a lot of different possibilities that could happen to AMC. It's a pretty difficult stock to play, but I feel like if you could really slowly play AMC in a slow and steady fashion, Try not to buy too many options, just buy the shares and hold it. You can actually make a lot of money. Right now, AMC is in a really unique position. I think it's gonna succeed, especially due to the fact that it does have a really good track record, consolidations, mass amounts of big money. Vanguard, BlackRock have already increased their positions in the past couple weeks. And the amount of retail interest is rising up. The amount of institutional interest is crazy. In the past two weeks, $1.2, $1.3 billion worth of AMC shares were bought up. That is a lot of shares. People want AMC because it's a pretty decent company. And because so many hedge funds like Citadel, who has like $200 billion in assets, have over leveraged themselves in it. And the stock market is all about a transfer of wealth. If a hedge fund loses money, that money either goes to retail traders or to other hedge funds. And this is why so many other hedge funds are piling on. They want this massive transfer of wealth from one hedge fund to another. So that's what's happening. There seems to be a massive battle brewing up for AMC. And I feel like AMC right now is the main talk for like the SEC chairman right now. He also talks about you know the dark pools and how there could be regulations and stuff like that. So we gotta keep that in mind. I feel like the reason why AMC isn't really going up that much is because of the dark pool activity. I really do feel like that because a lot of buy orders aren't really being executed. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching, comment below. Definitely check out Moomoo, link in the description below. Click on it, make a Moomoo brokerage account, deposit $100 get two free stocks, 5K more, two more free stocks, deposit $2,000 for 30 days in your accounts, and you'll get a free share of General Motors, GM. It's like a 50 bucks stock, it's free money. So take advantage of it, and plus it's a pretty good brokerage. See you guys later, and have a good day.